In this video, we are going to show you how to create an online course with Lifter LMS. In the WordPress LMS market, Lifter LMS is one of the familiar names. Lifter LMS has both free and paid versions. You can get Lifter LMS from the link in this video's description. Let's explore their pricing plans and see what each plan offers. So we can see that there are some plans over here and the core plugin is free. So if you use the free version of Lifter LMS, you'll get the LMS plugin, unlimited courses, have unlimited memberships and unlimited students and teachers. But the problem is you will not have any e-commerce add-ons. But if you purchase the paid version of Lifter LMS, the Earth Bundle, Universal Bundle or the Infinity Bundle, you'll get those e-commerce features. For example, with the Earth Bundle, which is $199 a year, you get one site license, unlimited support for one user, Lifter LMS core plugin, and the e-commerce add-ons for Stripe, PayPal, and WooCommerce. The Universe Bundle, which is $360 a year. This bundle is very popular as you get so many things with it. You can purchase this one as well. And there's also the Infinity Bundle, which is $1,200 a year. With this plan, you get unlimited active sites, unlimited support for three users, the core plugin, of course, and everything in the Universal Bundle, plus 10 advanced add-ons. Okay, and there's also a lifetime bundle that you guys can check out. For this tutorial, we have downloaded and installed Lifter LMS on our experimental site. Without further ado, let's start the step-by-step -step procedure. If we take a look at our website, this is our website. So this is a basic school or an online course um, website. We used the Astra theme for this. So let's take a look at our courses page. So here are our Lifter LMS courses. If we click on a course, you can see that the course name is over here, the course description, what you'll be learning at the end of this course, um, the course sign up, and the course outline or the syllabus at the end. So let's see how you can create a course such as this one. So we're going to go back to our dashboard. And from here, you can see we have our Lifter LMS installed. And from the courses section, we are going to click on courses. So we, you see, we already have these courses. We want to add a new course, so we can simply click on this add course button. And over here, we can add in the title of our course. Let's say our course name is WordPress tutorial. Now we can add in a short description of our course. Okay, so we added some course description. We can also add in some course information or you can also uh, customize this heading and add in a, another heading what you'll be learning in this course. So what we're going to do is simply click over here and insert a paragraph text and add in some course info. And we can also add in a header like this one. We can simply click over here and click on this plus icon and add in heading. From here, we're going to choose the H3 and add in our own heading. So this is heading three. We can um, reduce the size of this text a little bit. Okay, so if we set it to large, this will look good. Then we can insert some uh, text over here and then we can also add in some list. So let's uh, put in some list. So let's select the list block over here and then let's add something. Okay, so in this way you can add in your list and over here you have the course instructor information and finally the course progress and the continue button and from here you can see there are course options there's the sales page so currently uh, display default course content you can show uh, custom content you can redirect to wordpress page or you can redirect to custom url so currently i'm selecting the display default course content so uh, for those who are not enrolled in the course, they will be seeing this default uh, course content page. We're going to see how it looks a bit later on. And in the generals tab, we can see uh, you have the ability to add a featured video. So this featured video will act as an introduction to this course. So you can simply copy the URL of your YouTube, Vimeo or Vista video and paste it over here. And again, you can choose to display featured video on course title. Usually this might not be a good idea, but if you want, you have the option to enable it. 
and you can also add in a featured audio and for access plans access plans define the payment options and access time periods available for this course no access plan exists for your course click add new to get started so if you want to add in an access plan you can simply uh, click on this add new button and over here you can add in the plan title plan sku enroll text visibility and the price of this course and you can also select if it's a one-time payment or an every second third fourth fifth you have a lot of options for your payment of this course okay so after you're done with this we are not going to add in any access plan right now so after this we can also look at the restrictions here you can enable enrollment period so if you enable this you can define the enrollment start date and when the registration will be closed so this is very important so you can have a fixed time window for uh, course enrollment and for the course time period you can also enable this you can also enable prerequisites that the student must fulfill in order to enroll into this course so all these options are available over here in this section you can also enable reviews where students can leave in reviews you can also display reviews prevent multiple reviews so all these options are over here okay so after this is done we can also add in a category for our course so if you have multiple categories you can add it currently we have only one category that is the technology so we're going to select it you can also choose a difficulty for this course um, you can also add tags you can also add a featured image for your course so let's select an image from here okay so we set a featured image now we can simply click on publish to publish our course so once our course is published, we still do not have any content for our course. To add in course content, we can uh, click on the Launch Course Builder from here or here. And let's click on this button and let's start building our course. So to build your course in Lifter LMS, you simply keep on adding sections. And if you want to add more inner sections, you can add in lessons. So let me show you. First, I'm going to add a section by clicking on this button. And you can see we have a new section and you can control everything that just from this screen we can rename this so let's add in a section name so let's say our section name is introduction to wordpress so after that we can add in another section now like before we can rename this wordpress installation so we can add in another section so let's say this is introduction to plugins okay so in this way you can add multiple sections and you can also drag and drop each sections anywhere you want okay let's put it back over here now what if you want to add in some intersections so what you can do is click on this new lesson button so now you can see that a new lesson has been added in section one so if you want to add in a lesson for another section you can simply select it and then click on new lesson and it will be added over here okay so like before you can simply uh, rename this lesson what is WordPress okay so we are going to keep this and beside this lesson you can see there are some options so when I hover my mouse over lesson you can see there's open WordPress lesson editor view lesson shift down so if I have multiple lessons I can shift it down and shift move it up I can also detach this lesson from this section also I can delete this lesson so what if I want to add in more content within this lesson? You can see uh, we can edit this lesson settings. We can add assignment. We can add a quiz. We can add videos, etc. So to add in content, what you can simply do is and simply click on this edit lesson settings. Okay. And from here, you can see uh, there are a lot of options. And if you're using Astra, you will see this section as well and from here you can see the general settings the video embed url so this is where you can add in your lesson link so let me go ahead and grab a video from our youtube channel and add it over here just for this demonstration so we're going to simply place this video over here you also have the option to make this lesson free if you want this to be paid you can disable this but i want this to be free for now and you can also add in a drip method from here okay so after this we can also add in an assignment but to add in the assignment we need to um, unlock lifter lms assignments add-on so we don't have that right now so i cannot add an assignment so let's go ahead and see if we can add quiz 
So if we want to add quiz, we can simply create a new quiz or we can add in an existing one. So let's see how you can create one. We are going to click on this create new quiz button. And here you can see you have the option to add in description. So let's in add in a little description. Okay, so after that, you can also set in your passing percentage limit attempts. So how many times the students will be able to attempt this quiz. So if I enable this, you can also specify the number of times the students will be able to attempt this quiz. Um, we can also enable the time limit. So if you enable it, you can also add in how much time the students will have in order to answer this quiz. You can also uh, have the option to show the correct answer. You can also randomize the question orders within this quiz. Okay, so after that, what we can do is click on this add question button. And you can see that this pops up a new panel. From here, you can choose your various question categories. So we currently have the basic questions, which is the multiple choice, picture choice, true or false. And in order to add in the advanced questions, here you can see there is fill in the blanks, reorder items, reorder pictures, short answer, long answer, file upload, code, scale, so many advanced question types. For that, you need the Lifter LMS advanced quizzes add-on, okay? We are going to choose a simple one, the multiple choice. And here it adds in your section where you can simply create your question. So here I'm going to write a question. Okay, so I wrote a question over here. Again, you can also add in more description for your question if you want. So if you have a complex question, you can add that. You can also add in image and videos for your question as well. And from here, you can also add in your choices. So from here, let's add in a few choices. So we added the two choices. Uh, so if you want more choices, you can simply click on this add choice button over here. So you're going to have another choice. So let's say I'm going to add something else. Okay, so after you're done, you also have to select which is the correct answer. So currently um, A is selected. If you want it to be B, you can select B. But the correct answer is CMS. Okay. And you can also enable the multiple correct choices. So if there are multiple correct answers to your question, you can simply enable this and you can have two or more answers. Okay, but ours is a single choice. So after that, you can also add in a result clarification. Okay, so after that, we can simply click on save changes. So it's going to save our question. So we can also add another question. So let's say this time, let's add in true or false. So this is another question here. I can write my question. Okay. So after I write in my question, I can also choose the correct answer, which is false. And now I can save changes. So that is how you can add in questions to your lessons. Okay. So now simply I'm going to close this and you can see how easy it is to add in course content videos to your lessons. So in case you want to add more text, what you can do is simply hover your mouse over this uh, lesson and click on this open WordPress lesson editor. So this is going to open the WordPress editor. Okay, so this is the WordPress uh, lesson editor. Here you can already see the video URL is over here. You can add in prerequisite, drip settings, quiz, etc. But what we want to do is add in some description. So we can simply hit enter on keyboard. And here we can add in some text. Okay, so and then we can update our lesson. Okay, so now let's get back to our course builder. So once we're here, you can see that we cannot see the uh, lessons anymore. So if you see this, you can simply click on expand all and you can see all the lessons and everything else within this course. So in this way, you can add in some more lessons. You can see lesson two and you can start adding content within this lesson. You can add in assignments. So you can do all these things just from this builder. So it's really quite cool. So after you're done with this, you can simply um, click on save changes, then click on the exit button. OK, so this is our course. Now let's click on update. And now let's uh, take a look at our website. So visit site. And from here, we can look at the courses. And here is our course that we just created. You can see um, the username is already here. The number of lessons it has, everything is over here and also our featured image. So if you click on it, you can see our uh, course title is over here. Our course description is over here. The course category is showing over here and the course information, what you're going to learn 
course instructor and the curriculum over here. So if we uh, click on this particular lesson, since our course is free and open, we can directly uh, see what this lesson consists of. So this lesson has a video and some description and we can also take the quiz for this lesson. So if we click on take quiz, you can see the quiz um, information is over here. The minimum passing rate is 65%. Remaining attempts unlimited because we didn't specify any attempt numbers. And how many questions there are? There are two questions. So once your student sees this, they can click on the start quiz button to take their quiz. So the first question is what is WordPress? It's a CMS and we're going to click on next question. And WordPress is a book. This is false. Now we can click on complete quiz. And you can see it shows the result. You completed a lesson. Congratulations. And here it says 100% uh, pass, how many points you get. So all of this information is right over here. So that is how you can create a course with Lifter LMS. So this was a short video. We hope this was helpful. So if this video was helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more tutorial on WordPress.